What do you imagine? I see open space. Very good. I see open space. Tell me what's there. What is in this open space? It's like energy fields. Mm -hmm. Do these energy fields have any colors or movement? Yeah, they're kind of swirling around. Mm -hmm. And you, as the one in the space, can you move within these swirling energies? I'm stationary, but I can see around me. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to connect now to the source of this energy. You will know What are you here to learn today from this energy? I'm a part of it. Mm -hmm. What role do you play with this energy? It seems to... like I'm part of it, it's, it's part of me. Mm-hmm, I'm part of me, that's right. So I'd like for you to know now, connect with that energy, and see what you use that energy for. What kind of energy is this? Cosmic energy. Mm-hmm. And how is it that you use this cosmic energy? It seems like it's going through me to another place. All right. So let's follow this energy and see where it goes to. Where does this energy go? It seems like another section of space. Mm hmm do you see this section? Yeah, it's fast. Mm -hmm. Huge. Describe it for me. It's just like a very deep black void. Mm -hmm. How does this place feel? Peaceful. Mm -hmm. Very still. Absorb that peacefulness inside. Make it yours. Remember it. And as you enjoy this beautiful sensation, I'd like for you now to know the reason why you're in this space. Why do you need to be in this space? To remind me where I come from. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. It's like it's the unmanifest. Mm -hmm. It's just this deep, peaceful void. But it's consciousness, too. Mm -hmm. and let's see what you do with this space. Do you create in this space? I just am. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself in this space? I am. Very good. So as the I am, what do you do next? What do you manifest? Myself. Mm -hmm. Can you describe that for me, please? How do you manifest yourself? 
to everything that is. Mm-hmm. Pure energy. Pure energy. Where does this pure energy go? It's in everything. Mm-hmm. And as the I am, do you have any feelings or emotions or thoughts? It's just peace and stillness. Mm-hmm. But, but all of that is in me. Mm-hmm. So all of this that we are seeing, is this the I am? I'm within it all. Mm-hmm. Very good. So what can you tell me about yourself? I'm everyone. Mm-hmm. You're talking to yourself. Mm-hmm. And when we talk to ourselves, what do we receive in return? Oh. Security. Mm-hmm. Peace. Mm-hmm. Do you do anything with yourself besides just manifest? Is there anything that you need? I am complete within myself. You are. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. <sighs> Why have you brought Bill? Today, to speak with you. That's what he wanted. Mm-hmm. That's what he needs. Mm-hmm. What does he need to hear from you? To feel from you? That we're never separate. Mm-hmm. We're connected to a life stream. He has felt some powerful energy. Can you tell him what that is? His source. Mm -hmm. It's behind everything. Why does he make it so emotional? Why does he get emotional when he connects with source? It's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. He's human. Mm-hmm. Does it remind him of something? It's a source of love. Mm-hmm. How can he channel this better? Just accept and surrender. Mm-hmm. Don't doubt. What should he do with all of this source energy? Broadcast it. Mm-hmm. How can he broadcast this energy? Just by opening up to it, mm-hmm. letting it flow through. Mm-hmm. Now he tells me that he once felt a tap or a pop on his forehead. Was this anything that caused the connection to be greater? It was one of the things, it was an opening. Mm -hmm. Who opened that for him? Spirit guide. Spirit guide. 
What does he use? What kind of spirit guide is he using in order for him to tap into this energy? An energy being. An energy being. Is this an angel or something else? Just a high light being. Ah, oh, light being. Very good. So, can you tell me, is this, is this third eye open now? Not all the way. Not all the way. What's keeping it closed? What's holding him back? Doubt. Doubt. Where does this doubt come from? Would you show him? Earthly mind. Earthly mind. Is this doubt necessary? No. No. Can you help me today in removing that doubt? Yes, of course. Very good. What can you use today to assist him with removing this doubt? Beam of light. Very good. Where is this light beaming? This pituitary gland. Very good. Allow him to take a deep breath in and bring in that pituitary gland, gland in. Bring that beam of light. What sensation does he feel in his body? A plate of energy in his brain. Mm -hmm. Spread that light into his body so he can feel it. Tell me where you feel the energy. To my whole body. Mm -hmm. Is this energy staying within the body? Is it looping around? Just like it's flowing out my feet right now. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that energy and see where it goes. Where does that energy go? Into the earth. Mm -hmm. What does the earth do with this energy? Your energy that you're channeling? It relishes it. Mm -hmm. Connect with the energy of Gaia. Feel it in every cell of your body. Open up your senses and connect with the soul of Gaia. Connect with what Gaia has to say to you as she receives this light and energy. Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Does she have a message for you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'd like for you to tell me what happens to this energy within your body. What it's, what's it doing? Energizing myself. Mm -hmm. Revitalization. Mm -hmm. Let's revitalize every cell in your body.
bringing it that strength that love that will to live feel the appreciation We know if anything's happening. Hmm. Just lots of white light. Mm -hmm. And you can split yourself off and see what the cells, the individual cells, are receiving from that light. Nourishment. Mm -hmm. Energy. Mm -hmm. Life. And now as a split off from the source, I'd like for you to direct those cells to begin working to energize themselves and heal. Give them the command, the manifestation of youthfulness in the cells. Tell the heart to regenerate its youth. Tell the lungs to regenerate the elasticity. Tell the skin to bring back that glow of youth. Breathe in the life to those cells. Your source. Command your body. Tell it what it needs to do. Allow those cells to regenerate with the youthfulness, with the program of health. And connect with those cells. Send them love. What do you hear from them? We are love. Mm -hmm. Ask them what was missing before. Why were they sad? They didn't know. Mm -hmm. Now they know. Very good. So I'd like for you to find a way to trigger this reminder once again. You can use a word or a gesture to remind yourselves. What would you like to use to remind them? Energize. Very good. So take a deep breath in and see those cells and tell them the word. Energize. Very good. So now we're going to use something else to reinforce it. Let's use a gesture to go along with that word. What gesture would you like to do to remind the cells to energize? You could put your hand up to your heart or something else like that. What would you like? Hand on her. Very good. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Put your hand up to your heart and say the word. Energize. Very good. Very good. Take a deep breath in and let's do it again. Do the gesture and the word. Energize. Feel those cells re-energizing once again. And let's do it for a third time to remind them. Energize. Very good. 
And now each and every time you do this gesture and say this word, it will reinforce this love and appreciation and allow you to energize. Very good. So let's connect once again with Source. Feel the love. What message do you have for Bill? Just accept. Just accept. So now that he's made peace with his body, what changes do you anticipate from Bill and his body now? Overall health. Mm -hmm. Energy. Mm -hmm. Just peace of mind. Very good. Very good. So I'd like to ask Source to assist him with the healing of his skin, of his heart. And I'd like to ask a little bit about how the best ways that he could channel. He was thinking about how he can help heal others. Where does all of this energy get transmitted from, Bill? What can he use? His hands. His hands. What is it that comes out of Bill's hands? Pure life energy. Mm -hmm. Does he need to do anything to prepare himself? Does he do it naturally? Connect with Source. Connect with Source. Very good. So I'd like him to use his own hands right now to work on a part of his body that has given him the most problems. Allow your hand now to go to the place that needs the most healing. Mm -hmm. Now bring in the source light and have it go out through your hands. light. What color light do you see? Green. Green. And what is the significance of the green light? What is Health that? and healing. Very good. Hmm. And tell me when that heart has healed. It's full. Hmm? It's full. It's full. Very good. Is there any other place where he needs to heal today? Uh, lungs. Lungs. What is going on with his lungs that he needs to work on? That's dark energy. Mm -hmm. What is causing that dark energy, please? Is that part of his body? Uh, entity. An entity. Would you allow me to speak with that entity today? Yes. Very good. So I'm going to bring my energy and encapsulate that energy, having it come up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name? Please? Steve. Steve, how old are you? 42. And what year is it for you, Steve? 86. 
Mm -hmm. And what happened to your body, Steve? I died. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems that you didn't because I'm speaking with you. What happened to your body? Car wreck. Car wreck. And where did you hurt yourself to, to have the final blow? My head. Your head. So, Steve, why is it that you did not go back to source after you left your body? Fear. Fear. What did you fear? What were you afraid of, Steve? I don't know. Were you afraid you did something wrong? Yes. What did you do wrong, Steve? I hurt people. You did. How did you hurt them? Verbally. Mm -hmm. Were you abusive to people? Yes, I was cruel. Mm -hmm. Who did you hurt? People I love. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have this car accident on purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you think that by leaving this life, you would feel better? I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Well, now you do. What did you find, Bill? He was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. How old was he? Twelve. Twelve. What was happening in his life when he was twelve that made him so vulnerable? He needed love. Mm -hmm. And Steve, did you give him love? No. No. What did you give him? I gave him confusion. Mm -hmm. What else did you give him? I hurt him. How did you hurt him? Making it hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. Did you make him smoke? What else did you do to make it hard for him to breathe? I just tighten his chest. You tighten his chest. Is that nice of you, Steve, to do that? No. What did you get from that? Pleasure. Pleasure. Were you getting some power out of that? Yes. Mm. Well, Steve, there's a much better way to get power. Would you like me to help you today? Sure. Mm -hmm. Steve, within your own chest, there is a little light. This is the God Spark. This is the light that created you. I'd like for you to find that light, Steve. And tell me when you do. I see it. All right. Now, Steve, make that light bigger, please. Make it bigger and bigger, and tell me how it feels to expand that light. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Make it even bigger. Is that what you're looking for, Steve? Yes, it helps. Mm -hmm. Now, do you understand what it would feel like to go back home to this love? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. But you can't leave yet, Steve, because you did some damage to Bill. Would you like to tell him how you feel about this now? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Bill, what would you like to say to Steve? Do you I forgive, forgive you. All right. So I'd like for you now to cut away all of those cords inside of you. Cut away all of those cords that have Steve attached to you. And Steve, I'd like for you to pull away all of your energy from this body. Detach from it. And tell me when you are completely detached. How 
Okay. Very good. Now, Steve, I can't let you go yet because you have done quite a bit of damage in that last life, haven't you? Yes. I'd like for you to go back to that life. And I'd like for you to connect with the souls of all of those that you hurt. And I'd like for you to ask for their forgiveness, each and every one of them. Connect soul to soul. What do they send back to you? Forgiveness. Very good. How does that feel now? It feels good. I'm sorry. Very good. So, Steve, I'd like for you now to completely release from this body, go up through the top of his head, and I'm going to ask my Archangel Michael to assist you. Tell me when you see him, please. I see him. Mm -hmm. He's going to take you straight to Source. Allow him to take you there and tell me when you get there. I'm there. Is, I'm there. there. Is there anyone there to greet you? My grandmother. Very good. Give her a big embrace and may the love and light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Very good. So I'm going to ask now for my Archangel Raphael to send in that beautiful green healing light into that to the lungs. Feel the sensation of green. Tell me what you feel. Mm, openness. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. And now as you scan the rest of your body, let's take a look and see if there's any other energies that shouldn't be there. Hmm. What do you see? Hmm. Something not right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to take my hand and sweep over that energy and bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. Good afternoon. What is your name? Angela. Angela. Angela, how long have you been there? 16 years old. When he was 16 years old. Angela, how old are you? 28. Mm -hmm. What year is this, Angela? 63. Mm -hmm. What happened to you, Angela? What happened to your body? I died. Mm -hmm. How did your body die? I killed myself. How did you kill yourself? Pills. Mm -hmm. And after you died, what happened to your spirit? Where did it go? I was lost. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go home to the light? I was afraid. What were you afraid of? I was bad. I killed myself. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems you didn't kill yourself. You only killed your body, right? Mm -hmm. So, how did you find Bill? How old was he? And where was he? He was on the beach. Mm -hmm. He was having fun. And what made him vulnerable for you? I just liked him. Mm -hmm. Did you ever know this soul before? No. No. So what made him so vulnerable to allow you to attach to his groin? Just kind and open. Mm -hmm. And what have you been doing to him all this time, Angela? Hurting him. In what way? Low energy. Low energy. So do you make him feel like he has no energy every once in a while? Yes. Why do you do that? Power. Power. So it makes you feel good to put mm -hmm. him down? Mm -hmm. What else do you do to him? That's it. Mm -hmm. Angela, 
Would you like me to feel better? Because it seems to me you're not feeling very good about yourself. I'm bad. Mm. Well, bad is just your idea. What do you call bad? Mad. Oh, you're mad. What are you mad at? Life. At life? Would you like to feel better about life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do that by feeling the love of the Creator. Would you like me to tell you how to do it? Yes. All right. Angela, inside of you, there's a little spark of light. It's like a little pilot light in your heart. This is the God spark. This is what created you. Tell me when you find it. I see it. Now make it bigger, please. <sighs> make it really big. Make it as big as a star, Angela. <sighs> How does that feel? It feels so good. Mm -hmm. There's no way to be sad or mad or angry anymore. Mm. No. It's pure love, isn't it? That's what I was looking for. That's right. So now, I'd like for you to tell Bill how is it that you feel about what you've been doing to him all this time. I'm so sorry. You're a good kid. I didn't mean to do that. All right, take a deep breath in. Bill, what would you like to say to Angela? I forgive you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you felt that way. Very good. Angela, go ahead and begin detaching yourself from his body. And Bill, allow yourself to go within your body and cut away any cords that you see left. And as you do, those cords will dissolve. And Angela, tell me when you have completely detached yourself from him. I'm gone. Very good. Before you go, Angela, I need you to do a little work. Because when you killed yourself, you hurt some people. You hurt the people that you loved. My mom. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to find your mom now and ask her soul for forgiveness, for giving her that pain. Forgiving, Mother, for hurting you. I'm sorry. What does she tell you? Does she see you as bad anymore? She loves me. Mm -hmm. She's sorry for the way I felt. Mm -hmm. I wish it could have been different. Very good. Angela, you ready to go now? Yeah. Very good. So, go up through the top of his head right here, and Archangel Michael is there. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Mm -hmm. Take his hand. He's going to take you straight to Source. Feel his love as he takes you. Tell me when you get there. I'm there. Is there anyone to greet you there? My father. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you? It's okay. Mm -hmm. You're just lost. Give him a big hug, Angela. And may the light and the love of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. So I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to go ahead and begin bring, putting that green light inside of that area. Feel the sensation. And I'd like for you, Bill, to go ahead and assist him as you also put in your green light from Source. I'd like for you to pair up with him and work as a team. And tell me how that works as you both use that green light. It fills my whole body. Mm -hmm. Very good. And as it fills your whole body, let's take a look and see if there's any other energy that should not be there. My feet. What's going on with your feet? Hmm. I 
feel like something's attached to it. Mm-hmm. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to your feet and I'm going to shake your feet and let's pull that energy up, up, up. Are you male or female? Male. What's your name, please? Willie. Willie, how old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Willie, what year is this, please? Forty... Mm-hmm. It's forty-six. Nineteen forty-six. Willie, how did you lose your body? I fell off my bike and hit my head. Mm-hmm. And Willie, after as you left that body behind, why did you not go home to the light? I didn't know. You didn't know. So how did you find Bill? Did you know him? No. No? I saw him somewhere. Mm-hmm. What made him so vulnerable to allow you to attach to his feet? I don't know. I just liked him. Mm-hmm. Did he allow you to connect with with him? He didn't know. He didn't know. So what have you been doing to him all this time? Nothing. Nothing. Has he felt you in his body? Yeah. How does he feel you? Do you give him sensations? I make his legs twitch. You make his legs twitch? And why do you make his legs twitch? I don't know. It's funny. It's funny? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, it seems, Willie, that you didn't get enough time to live in this lifetime. Was there a reason why you left at that time? Had you finished Mm -hmm. your journey? No, I hadn't finished. Mm Mm-hmm. It was an accident. It was. So, Willie, there's another opportunity for you to meet with your guides, determine what life you would like to live next, to get more experiences. Would you like to do something like that? Sure. Mm Mm-hmm. But, Willie, first you need to detach yourself from his body. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have Bill help you. Cut the cords from his feet. And I'd like for you to detach all of your energy from his body. And as you detach the energy, I'd like for you to now look at your energy and tell me what color is your energy? It's pink. Pink. Well, that energy needs to be radiating a lot more. I'd like for you to look inside of that energy to where your chest is and find that little white light. Oh. Do you see it? Oh. Make it bigger. Make that entire energy, that white light. How does that feel? Feels good. Mm Mm-hmm. Very good. What would you like to tell Bill? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I said nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. Bill, take a deep breath in. I'd like for you to tell Willie how you feel about him attached to your feet. Can you forgive him? Yes, it's okay. Just go on your way. All right. So, Willie, is all of your energy out of his feet now? Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you to go up through the top of his head right here. Archangel Michael is right there. What does he tell you? He's holding my hand. He says he wants to take me All right. somewhere. Very good. So go with Archangel Michael and tell me when you get to uh, where you're going. Where does he take you? Uh, it's so beautiful. What does it look like, Willie? It's all golden clouds and... Wow. Uh, this is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone er- there that you know? 
those other kids. Mm. They're just playing in the clouds. Wonderful. What does Michael tell you? This is where you belong. Very good. Go play with the kids. Wonderful. Wow. Well, you may the light of the universe always accompany you. Have fun with those children. Thank you. Thank you. And now, I'd like to ask you to direct that green energy into your feet, allowing you to co-create this wonderful energy with Archangel Raphael. Fill those feet with green light. Tell me how that mm, feels. Feels good. Mm -hmm, very good. So as you complete that healing energy, I'd like for you to take a look at your body and see if there's anywhere else in your body that you need to take. Oh, it's clear. Very good, very good. So I'd like to ask the reason why it is that he came here. What were the gifts that he came here? What is the reason that Bill came into this lifetime? What's he supposed to do? Spruce energy. So has he been doing that? Yes, he's getting better at it. Mm -hmm. And is there any other thing that he should be doing with that energy? He thought of maybe automatic writing or channeling it. He's channeling it now. He is. Very good. Does he need to do more of this in the future? Yes, you should do it all the time. Okay. So what is the best method for Bill to put himself in a nice state of channeling? Uh, connect with yourself. And just open up. He knows what to do. He can do it. Very good. He wanted to know if he was doing it properly. Yes, he's doing it properly. Very good. Yeah, he knows what to do. Very good. And he wanted to be a real good connection to source energy, but he wants to differentiate how he can tell whether it's ego or his higher self that he's connecting with. He'll know now. He will. Yeah, he'll definitely know now. Mm -hmm. He's felt it from Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So what happens when his ego tells him something? What does he need to do? Just ignore it. Mm -hmm. He'll know it's his little mind. Okay, good. And you told him that he came here to channel. How can he serve best in on this planet by using this energy? He wants to uplift the planet and all the conscious beings. Just be where you are and do what you do. Mm -hmm. It just comes from her. Mm -hmm. Are the animals feeling this energy from him? Mm -hmm. What is it that the animals feel in his presence? Source. Home. Source? Home. They feel home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why is it that Tilly is bringing him all of these dead animals? <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that he can connect with Tilly and have Tilly perhaps bring gifts that are not babies of other animals or things like that? Mm -hmm. Can we connect with Tilly now? Okay. All right, Tilly. Yes. It seems to me you're bringing Bill a lot of gifts lately. Tell him what you brought lately. Squirrels and rabbits. Squirrels and rabbits. And why? Gophers you... and all sorts of stuff. Why do you bring him these, these animals? Because I love him. You love him. Well, it seems that he's getting very disturbed because you're taking the life of another animal. It's my job. Oh, but your job is also to take care of him, isn't it? It's my job to bring him gifts. I love him. Mm -hmm. I'm a cat. That's what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Can you perhaps bring him different gifts, Tilly? Something that's not alive and that you have to kill. 
what can you bring him? Feathers. Feathers? Mm-hmm. What else can you bring him? String. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Very good. Let's ask Bill. Bill, I'd like for you to connect with Tilly and tell Tilly what you would like Tilly to bring you instead of dead animals. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. All right. Tilly, Bill doesn't want you to bring him anything. How does that make you feel? Uh, disappointed. Mm -hmm. You really love him, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel... I feel source. Mm -hmm. I feel home. So Tilly, can you accept his new request, since you love him so much, to just give him love? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you just perhaps sit with him and bask in his love of home? I do that already. Mm. Let's find out from Bill if that's enough. Bill? That's enough. That's enough? Mm -hmm, that's oh, enough. Very good. Very good. So let's now disconnect from Tilly. Allow yourself to disconnect. And I'd like to ask, if Bill was successful in his forgiveness of all and of himself, he did an exercise requesting that all forgive him for anything that he had done. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. How did that change his path when he did that? It lightened it and it feels much lighter. Mm -hmm. He's much happier. He is. He's not carrying a bunch of, uh, he's not carrying a lot of weight around with him. Mm -hmm. And what about his ancestor's karma? Is he still carrying that around? No. No. Was that karma? No, not nope. much of it, no. Not much of it. Is there mm. anything left that he needs to work on? No, he's pretty clear. Very clear. Very good. Thank you so much. I have a question about something that happened. He was told that he had a contract with an alien that was broken. Was he ever contacted by aliens in this lifetime? Yes. Can you tell me what happened then? How old was he? Six. Six. What was the purpose of this contact? Energy. Mm -hmm. Energy of some sort. Was Bill at the age of six transmitting this source energy? At that time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Were the aliens connected to that energy? Yes, they were feeding off of it. They were feeding off of it. So did he make a contract with these aliens to give them this energy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was this contract done before he was born or after? No, right then. Right then. And did he break this contract later? Or does he still have it? I think he still has it. Mm -hmm. So what is it that these aliens are doing with him now? They're using the energy. They're using the energy. What are they using the energy for? Their own purposes. Mm -hmm. Are these aliens what we would consider benevolent? Yes. Yes. So by him giving them this energy, does that diminish his energy at all? Do they take no. some of his life no. force? He just flows it through him to them? Yes. Okay. And where are these aliens from? Pleiades. Pleiades. Does he have a connection with the Pleiades? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Has he ever had a lifetime there? Yes. So who are these aliens? Are these his family? Associates. Associates. Very good. Would it be beneficial for Bill to see what association in contract is with them? Sure. All right. So I'm going to count from one to three. Tap your forehead and you'll be back in the Pleiades. One, two, and three. Be there now. Where are you? Clouds. Purple clouds. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to drift and thro float through these purple clouds until you find your associates. Allow the images to come. do you see? I see two people. Two people? What do they look like? They... They have their fruit shaped heads. What kind of shape? Big eyes. What does their head look like? Um... Kind of triangular. Triangular heads? Yeah. Mm hmm. And their eyes? Oh, big eyes. Big eyes? Yeah. What color is their skin? Oh. Uh, kind of a milky white. A milky white? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, what does the body look like? Uh, Spindly arms and legs. So they're thin? Mm -hmm. Arms and legs? Mm -hmm. Kind of thick in the torso, though. Mm -hmm. And do these individuals have gender? No, I don't think so. No. And how tall are they? I'd say six feet. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to look at yourself. What do you look like there? I'm different. What do you look like? Humanoid. Humanoid. Long white hair. Long white hair? Mm hmm Are you wearing any sort of garment? Yes, yeah, like I have a white cape on. A white cape? Mm, kind of white, kind of loose. Mm -hmm. Tunic like shirt and pants. Mm -hmm. that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Look at your hands. What do they look like? Humanoid, but I only have four fingers. Mm -hmm. Four fingers. And what is your position there? What is your role? in this place. What do you do there? I'm a commander. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I send people out on missions. Mm -hmm. So today, you have these two individuals in front of you. I'm explaining to them where they need to go and what they have to do. Mm -hmm. well, what is their mission? Something to do with fixing something with energy. Mm -hmm. What's happening to the energy? Um, it's not flowing mm -hmm. properly. It's not flowing as smoothly as it should. Mm -hmm. And where does this energy flow from? It's in a certain section of space. Uh -huh. So how is it that these individuals are going to help fix this energy? What are they going to do? They are 
之意。It's like energy engineers, and they go in and they take care of the problems for them, so that everything works in synchronicity,、mm-hmm. and there's no blockages, so that everything works perfectly fine. Very good. Very good. And how do you send these individuals out on this mission? They go on a craft. On a craft. So where is this craft going to today? They're going through a portal out into a certain section of space.、Mm-hmm. It looks like it's just in the middle of nowhere. It's like, but somehow they know that there is like an invisible energy. Connection there, then they have to fix that.、Mm-hmm. Good. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's move forward to the next important scene of that life. What's happening? I don't know. Seems like it's a disturbance or war or something.、Mm-hmm. Allow yourself to know, to see the images. These other beings came into a section I'm not supposed to be in.、Mm-hmm. What are they doing? I don't know. They're kind of hostile, dark energy.、Mm-hmm. What do you do? You're the commander. We rally the forces to go meet them to try to turn them back.、Mm-hmm. Do you go on a craft also? No, I stay back and they go out. Okay. And how do you communicate with those that are in the craft? Telepathically. Hmm. So what do they tell you? Advance it. Advance the scene to where they're there with these energies. We made certain concessions. That they agree to, and that they are going to return to where they were from,、mm-hmm. and that that portal will be shut down.、Mm-hmm. How do you shut that portal down? We don't really shut it. We shift it to another area. Okay. That they won't have access to. Very good. Very good. How does that make you feel now that this has been? Relieved.、Mm-hmm. The troublemakers. The troublemakers. So, what happens next? What is the next important thing of that life? Be there now. I'm being sent to another area.、Mm-hmm. Different duties. Who is sending you to this area? High Council.、Mm-hmm. They liked the work that I did where I was, and now they're sending me to take care of some other things in other areas.、Mm-hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about this High Council? Who are they? Um, they're high masters. From the Pleiades constellation.、Mm-hmm. How many are there? Seven.、Mm-hmm. They're from different planets in the constellation.、Mm-hmm. And why they have they chosen you to move you to another mission? Because I always seem to get things done.、Mm-hmm. Very good. How do you feel about this? Okay, I guess I was happy where I was.、Mm-hmm. So allow yourself now to see how you go to this new place. How do you get there? On a craft.、Mm-hmm. And what happens next? I arrive and disembark.、Mm-hmm. What is this? I'm being greeted.、Mm-hmm. Who greets you, please? Mm. Some high officials.、Mm-hmm. 
are explaining to me what he's, what's going on. What's happening there? I so they have an urgent problem in the sector of... Another constellation. Mm-hmm. What's happening on that constellation? Something about energy being siphoned off. Who is siphoning that energy? Someone from another area. Mm-hmm. What does what happens when you siphon off energy? It imbalances the constellation where it's mm-hmm. supposed to be is. It shifts things around? Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's our job to keep everything in balance and perfect synchronicity so that everything works fine. Good. So what do you do? I've dealt with these things before, so I know. I just give them instructions and they send out the crews or the, the people out there to handle it and then they report, report back and then if they have problems I just telepathically communicate with them. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. So I'd like for you to close this scene and now move forward to that very important mission to see how you're affected by that. Took a long time, but it was completed. Mm-hmm. Good. Very good. So, what happens in your life now? Let's move forward to another time and another place in that same lifetime. I'm old. Mm-hmm. Um, my energy levels are running way down. Mm-hmm. Feels like I'm fading. Mm-hmm. Are you alone, or are there others with you? I don't know. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about this at this time? Mm, I'm good with it. Good. So allow that energy to finally diminish. And tell me what happens to that soul. I leave my body. Mm-hmm. And I'd like for you now to travel. And let's find out when it is that the decision was made to come to Earth. Okay. Where are you? I'm with my soul group. Mm-hmm. What does this soul group specialize in? Uh, they just kind of help me decide where I should go. Mm-hmm. I have multiple choices. Which one would be the best I would learn the most in this lifetime? Mm-hmm. I'd like for you to look around your soul group and see if you recognize anyone in your soul group in the lifetime of Bill. Not in this group. Mm, very good. So what is the purpose of being in this meeting now? Just to decide where I could go to do the most good. Mm-hmm. So what has been decided? That I would incarnate through my parents. Mm-hmm. In this lifetime. What challenges are you expected to find in that life? Being human. Mm-hmm. Just to... What is it about being human that is difficult? The density of everything. Mm-hmm. The emotions. The chaos of Earth. 
what purpose is it for being in the, on Earth at this time? Balance the energy. Yeah. Balance the energy. Is that what you spe specialize in? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to remember how to balance the energy? It's just in me. Mm -hmm. It took a while though. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would like to tell the soul as Bill incarnated to remind him of this mission? No doubt, just let it go. It's all there, it's all right within you. Just open up and let it flow out. Everything will be good. Very good. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell him? Just be yourself. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. It'll get better too. Very good. Don't worry. Good. So take a deep breath in and let's disconnect from that being. <sighs> that's part of that soul. And of now yours. I'd like to ask a little bit about his name was being called Bill instead of Michael. Did that affect him in any way in his, in his life? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it affect him? Um, more opportunities of being called Michael. Mm -hmm. So should he be changing his name to Michael? Um... It would help him. Very good. And in these opportunities, would it be a new home? Or is he okay where he is? He's okay where he is. He's okay. Very good. Now we've asked all, the, all his questions except for one. He was once told that he met Jesus. And Jesus gave him some information. What information did Jesus give him? He was just explaining to him the simplicity of life mm -hmm. and how it's just basically based on love and forgiveness and that not to complicate his life but to live a simple, simple humble life mm -hmm. and that brings happiness to treat other men as he would like to be treated and that there is one God one source and we are all from it and part of it very good so I'd like Michael now to take that into his heart understanding the simplicity understanding that forgiveness has now allowed him to release his beloved. Now he can carry on in his life with simplicity and love, knowing he's on the right path and always guided and here to just let his energy flow. And now I'd like to ask if there's anything else that you would like to tell Michael today. Don't doubt, just do it. It's all there within you. Feel free with it. You're doing the right thing. You're spreading love and kindness and acceptance. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are we complete? Yes, we're complete. Thank you very much. Wonderful, all over. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. These things in my hand are just burning up. Uh, yeah, they do. A lot Whoa. of energy in those.
So let's let's uh, ground you. Let's change these up. Let's give you some shock oh. eye, and let's get you grounded. Where's the other one? <laughs> oh. Where's that other burning up? They have a lot of energy in them. Wow. So that was pretty. Pretty intense. Pretty intense and bizarre, and yeah, it was amazing. Pretty good. Yeah, that was amazing. Worth it. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that was spectacular. Yeah, so you finally got to connect full time. <sighs> nice. Huh? It, uh, it's so intense. It's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It just takes over your whole being. Yeah, but the reason why it was you were holding it back and you were told you have to let it flow. I think the fact that you're trying to resist it and not flow it is mm -hmm. so overwhelming. I think it was a doubting. Yes. You yeah. were putting, throwing the brakes on. Yeah. So imagine if you were going, going full throttle on, a, on yeah. a car and you slam on the brakes. That's what doubts are. Mm -hmm. So what they're saying is just let it flow. Oh, these things feel so good. <laughs> Those are grounding energy, so let me ground you. Oh, God, there was just so much energy. It was all about energy. Yeah. It's all about energy. Yeah. I mean, I knew that, but I didn't... The energy of source. But I didn't know that, you know? The energy of source, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Wow. Completely different than the other sessions? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew it would be, though. <laughs> that's I knew you, it would be, yeah. That's why you came here. Mm -hmm. Is this something you want to share with others? So you want to if you it? think it would do good? Oh, well, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were out there in the Pleiades uh, directing yeah. energy, yeah. Repa repairing energy in the different sectors. It was very interesting. <sighs> there was a lot going on. If you feel like it would do good. Okay, good. We could we could put out some, take out some personal parts if you Yeah, could. sure, that'd be good. Okay, yeah. yeah, terrific. So how do you feel? I feel great. I really feel good. That was an amazing session. That was pretty amazing. What were you feeling? I was like I was burning up with so much energy. Wow. And my hands were like on fire. So what do you think of the exercises that we did with that green light? I mean, we did, we found three entities. Mm -hmm. How did your body feel? How did your chest feel? It feels good. Yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, I'll feel it more later yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. And then when you were directing that green light, how did that feel? That felt good. Yeah? Yeah, so I, now you I know. feel my whole body. You know that's your superpower. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was the most memorable part, memorable part for you? What was the most emotional part? God, it was all... All of it? Just amazing, yeah. It really was. You're kind of like without words right now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. I mean, the Pallades. Yeah, yeah. Thing, that was... You were a commander with yeah. like four fingers? Yeah, that was... And the other and the other two aliens I was talking to, they're just really strange looking. Triangle heads? Yeah, but they almost look like E. T. a little bit, but different, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were they bigger heads? No, just more angular. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it was very interesting. Interesting. So um, And then when you were pulling up the entities Yeah, how did that feel? They all had distinct personalities. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. One was really angry. Yeah. That was John, which is a friend of mine that I grew up with. Mm. He was. Wow. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I loved it. Wow. So how did this differ with the other sessions? Because <clears throat> you've had three other hypnosis sessions. How did right. this one differ? Um, it was way deeper and more visual, mm -hmm. more intense. Yeah. The energy was just incredible. Good. Yeah. So do you recommend that people have s several? Yeah, I think so. But, you know, yeah, um, especially with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might even just need one, but <laughs> multiple would be amazing. Yeah, because yeah. you were visiting past lives in the other ones. Yes. Right? Right. Yeah. And this one we really didn't touch except for the fact that it blew right by that. Yeah, we didn't need to talk mm -hmm. about that. It was really all about your energy. Yep. Good. So do you recommend this to other people? Uh, highly. Yeah, and where yeah. are you coming it's from? It's interesting. Where but you, you have to be ready for it. How far did you come for this? San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. So there you go. So um, if you would like a session with me, 
go to my website, albawyman.com, go to the out of town page, and when you get there, there is a link on the bottom to sign up for my newsletter. And that is the way that you get sessions with me. You have about about once a month, I send out a newsletter. It will tell you where I'm gonna have sessions available. When you receive that newsletter, click on that link immediately because they go within minutes. Is that what you did? You yes, I up. did, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That's the only way. Yep. So uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. All right, let me have that hug with all that oh energy. Oh my God, girl, that was amazing. Wasn't it? Yeah. And here he comes getting... And she's got a nice cat too.